I'm Zua. Hi, I'm Kina. And I'm Liz. And we are alumni from the Satellite High School program at the Milwaukee Art Museum. And we are about to interview Hank Willis Thomas, a conceptual photographer. He's featured in the current exhibit at the Milwaukee Art Museum, 30 Americans, on view through September 8, 2013. How did you know conceptual photography was for you and what actually caught your attention? I didn't know conceptual photography was for me. I never really thought about um, taking pictures. I never wanted to be an artist, actually. I actually thought being an artist was kind of stupid, and I didn't want to be broke. And, you know, my mom's friends, we were, like, all struggling. Um, my, I, I was actually just trying to stay out of um, the real world. <laughs> like, I got into art school not because I thought I wanted to go to be a photographer. I think I, I tell my mom that I think she forced me to apply. And then um, I graduated, worked for two years as a photographer's assistant and a, and a production assistant in film, and then didn't want to pay back my student loan, so I went back to school. And then figured out a way to stay in school to get another master, so I had to go back. And by the time I was done, I, was, I had you know three degrees in art and um, had really learned, because um, through uh, the experience of just really, I was just trying to figure out how to look at the world through the camera and um, realized that there was more to it, you know, that I could actually use a single photograph to say more than, you know, I, I would be able to and just like trying to take a picture of this and that and that, which was more fun. And so I came to speak, thinking about photography in a conceptual sense, really just by accident. And it sounds totally crazy, but I was. 28 years old before I realized I wanted to be an artist. What would your artistic process be? Like, do you go into it knowing what you want to do or it sort of comes around organically? Um, I ask a lot of questions. I have a lot of ideas, especially the, the real problem with being a quote unquote conceptual artist is that it's really based off the idea. And like, you, know, you can't really tell if it's going to be a good idea until it's actually realized. And so by the time you make it and if it sucks, you're just like, oh, that was a waste of a lot of time and money. So I really start with my ideas and sometimes it'll be three years later before the idea becomes realized and it's just because I'll be asking any number of people. And I like to say like, does it suck? Because people will try to be like, well, I think I like this aspect. Like, yeah. but if you say, does it suck? It's kind of crass <laughs> language, but you know, it's a yes or no question, <laughs> you know? And, 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 if, if, and I realize that people who I respect don't like it, but I still like it, that must mean that it means something to me. And of course, if they do like it, uh, that means something as well. So I really kind of try to use a variety of opinions from people who aren't necessarily interested in what I'm interested in. And that's the thing I think a lot of the work is read as being so much specifically about African-American history and culture or perspectives, but the audience that kind of, or the people who've helped me kind of create, conceptualize, and develop the ideas are as diverse as anyone. I would like to ask you, who or what inspired you to express yourself through art? Some of the first kind of contact we have with artists through our family members who are engaged in it. And my mother, fortunately, was an artist and photographer. And so I became interested in, in art through her. And um, so my interest kind of came from just being in a house full of photographs that weren't taken by people I know or of people I know. And so I started to really think about kind of what they meant rather than like, kind of who they were about. Um, as she said before, we looked at a couple pieces of your art today, and one piece that really stuck out to me was the photograph of the MasterCard. MasterCard. MasterCard ad. Um, I kind of made a connection with that, especially with me being youth and knowing the endless crimes and mindless crimes that youth faith, I mean, face on a daily basis. Um, what would be some advice that you would have to youth Especially you dealing with that situation, making the, making light of that situation in such a creative way. Um, I'm, again, I think for me in that case, I was still mourning the death of my cousin and really trying to figure out how to deal with um, the the senselessness of of the homicide and also um, how even kind of what the insult to injury was us, you know really realizing that we were being marketed to during, you know, the, the funeral.
process and realizing that you know even still like you know picking the perfect casket for your son is like also a uh, a, a it's about a status symbol in a weird way and um, I, I I I when I think about um, youth and making work I think the most important thing that people should do is not be afraid to you know be vulnerable not be afraid to like you know, be simple and, and say what they believe because a lot of times with the work that I was making, that, that work, people would say, well, maybe that's just kind of like a one-liner or I get it or it's already about stuff I know about. Um, and for me, that was even more of a reason to do stuff because I felt like, you know, if I felt like, <laughs> I know you don't care, but I still care, it made me want to say things more. But I think um, what's great about your generation that my generation didn't have is, you know, YouTube and you know, Facebook and Twitter and, you know, Vine and Pinterest and Instagram and all these different ways that you can, like, build an audience and speak to people who, you know, are interested in what you're interested in. And I feel like that's, you know, so much, so exciting that you have such a great opportunity to have your voice heard in a way that, like, you know, other people couldn't, like, now heads of state may not have as much power as you all do, and that's really really cool, so I wouldn't take that for granted. Thank you very Thank you much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. It was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hopefully I'll see you more and taste more of and touch. No, I can't touch.